Are you smoking moldy, bud? Look, if you've been smoking for a little while now, the chances are you probably smoked at least a little bit of mold. Just a tiny little bit. Maybe some mold, maybe some powder mill. Just a tiny little bit. Look, we're talking about a plant here. It grows in the ground. You water it. It has a chance to get some mold on it. A lot of people out there are getting their stuff from licensed shops that are lab testing for that kind of thing. So you have some people looking out for you, but it is possible for mold to develop after they already tested for it. So I'm going to give out some tips and tricks to hopefully help you identify that nasty pack that you should probably say no to. But before we get started, come support me on Twitch. I'm not monetized here. Every Amazon Prime sub we get on Twitch, I'm doing one extra milligram of edibles on Halloween. Link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe to me for free. Help me get that to Jeff Bezos weed money with Amazon Prime. But moldy bud isn't super uncommon. You're gonna run into a few things. I'm mostly gonna talk about stuff that's already been grown and chopped and something that somebody's trying to sell you. If you're a grower, there's a whole other world of things that you gotta worry about. But the two most common types are powder mildew and the gray mold or botrytis. And if you look into this, a lot of people are gonna give out the same tips for how to identify. And the, the basic tips are really good. I mean, the smell test, obviously, moldy bud is going to have a, sp a specific smell or a particular smell to it, especially if there's a lot like you can smell mildew. If you've ever been in like a wet basement, sometimes moldy bud can have that smell. Some people even say it smells like urine. I, I don't know <laughs> if it doesn't smell like cat piss, but it smells like human piss. Maybe you don't want to smoke it. But there's a number of things that can cause it. Obviously, improper drying, improper curing, improper storage. If they didn't dry it out enough and there's too much moisture in there, it's going to start to develop mold. The curing and drying process can be very difficult for some people. And you can grow the plants for months and months, and then you get to the final stage and you just ruin it there. Now, it sucks to know, but some of these big shops, once they find out they have mold, they don't just throw it away. They're like, all right, how do we, uh, how do we get this to pass the test? But once it gets into your hands, some of the things that you want to look for, obviously, if it... If if you can see mold on there, like if you could just see it, like that, that's your first eye, right? One of the best tricks a lot of people use is shining a black light on your bud. Moldy areas will stick out. It might shine like green under your black light. I can't quite show the pictures here, but if you go online, you might be able to find some nice pictures of what it would look like. But usually the moldy areas shine like a green color under a black light. Now, I said it could look moldy. There's different kinds. Obviously, if it looks really white, if it looks super powdery, that could be bad. But also, like, there's gray mold that attacks everything on the plant that causes bud rot. If it just looks gray... It, it, <laughs> that's mold. It shouldn't look like that. There's a few cheap things you can buy, like a black light to help you look. But another thing to help you get a closer look, obviously, people's phones can do a good job zooming in. But like a jeweler's loop... I used to have one. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where it is. But for like ten dollars, you can get a little magnifying glass that's used for looking at jewelry. But you can get a close-up look at bud. And if you're looking at it, it looks super powdery. But those don't look like trichomes to you. It's not. Sh it's not looking shiny when you get really close on it. It's just looking super powdery. That might be mildew on your bud. Another thing to look for, I've seen a few times, is if it looks like there's spider webs on your bud. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have spider mites or the bud had spider mites on it. But if the bud looks like it's covered in, like, a webbing or there's webbing in certain areas, that could just be mold. Another less common thing you might see is, like, dark spots on your bud. Like, it looks like a really dark, slimy kind of... Doesn't really match the rest of the plant. Just looks like a super dark spot on your, like, light green bud. That could be mold. There's a lot of basic tricks out there, but here's one that a grower taught me years ago that I actually, I couldn't find online when I was looking for it. But if you break your bud under a really bright light, if there's mold inside your bud, you'll see like spores stream off of the bud. It'll look like a little cloud of smoke. If it's not moldy, it won't do this. But if you crack it, Obviously, when you crack a bud, there's going to be some trichomes. There's going to be some particles that fly off. But if you see like a steady stream of what looks like smoke, it's mold spores. But if it looks like it's smoking for like five or ten seconds or so, that's moldy. A grower taught me if you break the bud and it's smoking before you smoke it, you don't want to smoke it. So get like a really bright light like your phone, snap the bud in half, and then just stare at it and see if you can see a stream of spores coming off of that. I also know we have a lot of knowledgeable people in the community. If you have any super quick tips or tricks, anything to help identify mold, leave a comment, let us know. There's probably a ton of different ways that I don't know about, and hopefully some knowledgeable person in the community can help us out. Either way, have a lit day. Come get high with me on Twitch. On Monday, we do the rip review. Post your fat rips on my subreddit, r slash coupons. 
and we check them out on my Twitch stream. So post your hits for me to review. Have a lit day, my dudes.